Hello student, I am Shalini Murmu, Contextual Assistant Professor of Ghatshila College. Today we will deal with the topic thyroid gland. So let's first see its structure. Thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gland that is situated in the neck region. And you can see in this diagram shape. Thyroid gland is formed of two lobes, right lobes and left lobes. And these two lobes are connected here by region that is known as isthmus. Thyroid gland is actually situated below the larynx and you can see that the thyroid cartilage that surrounds the larynx and thyroid gland is situated anterior to the trachea you can see here the trachea it is brownish red in color and uh, when we see the tears of the thyroid gland the thyroid gland tissues are composed of thyroid follicles. These, these are called thyroid follicles. You can see. And thyroid follicles are made up of a central cavity that is filled with a sticky fluid and that fluid is called colloid and the thyroid follicles which compose composed by follicular epithelium these are follicular epithelium and these epithelium shape are varied depending upon the activity of the thyroid gland the thyroid follicles so they can be columnar, cuboidal or squamous. When they are active, they are more likely to be cuboidal or columnar. And uh, these follicles are surrounded by the thin layer of connective tissues. And the thyroid gland is richly supplied with blood vessels, capillaries. And the colloid is colloid acts like a reservoir which in in the colloid the uh, production of thyroid hormone take place between the thyroid follicles there are cells present which are called c cells this this can be present in groups or this can be present as single cell and these are also called as para para follicular cells and these c cells or para follicular cells secrete the hormone calcitonin which help regulate the level of calcium One more thing is that on the posterior side of thyroid gland are embedded parathyroid gland and these parathyroid glands are four in number they are situated in the posterior surface of the thyroid gland they are four in number parathyroid gland are four in number and they also they are also related to the regulation of the calcium level the thyroid hormone regulation as i uh, when we studied the pituitary gland i told you that the thyroid gland is that um, controlled by thyroid gland synthesis and uh, release of the hormone is 
regulated by the pituitary gland so what happens that when the when the um, when the thyroid hormones are low in the blood so a signal is sent to the brain so the hypothalamus releases the trh that is thyroid thyrotropin releasing hormone and when the hypothalamus releases the thyrotropin releasing hormone uh, this trh act on the pituitary to say, uh, to synthesize and release tsh that is thyroid stimulating hormone and this thyroid stimulating hormone after it's released from the pituitary gland reaches to the thyroid gland and the tsh stimulates the thyroid gland to synthesize and release the thyroid hormone thyroid hormone or also called as t3 and t4 hormone so in this we have studied the structure and uh, detail about the thyroid gland so in next class we will continue the thyroid gland okay thank you